What's going on guys? In today's video I'd like to share with you four and a half useful tools that you can 3D print to make console repair and modification much easier. I say four and a half useful tools because as you'll see later in the video, one of them didn't quite work out as I hoped. Enough of the intro, let's dig in. Okay, so this first one solves a very real problem I've had over the last few years, and that is dealing with these spools of wire. If you're familiar with modding consoles, and especially with the PS2, you would have undoubtedly come across this issue. The wire roll gets all tangled seemingly on their own. I don't know how it happens, but it needs to stop. That's when I came across this creatively named Wire Wrapping Wire Spool Case by Old Mate here. If you couldn't tell, it's a wire wrapping wire spool case to hold your wrapped up spool of wrapping wire. Just take your unadulterated rolled up spool of wrapping wire and put it inside the PLA tomb. Then feed your noodle of electric doodle through the hole where the spool will be protected from nefarious spool doodlers. While you're here, why not use one of those doodle noodles that you have and hit the like and subscribe button. If I did that right, the like button should light up. This design can be modified easily to fit any size of spool of electric noodle. Next up we have a useful tweezer sleever. This bad boy can fit up to six of your favorite jointed pointers and even has numbers for some reason. If you've made it this far into the video and you're saying, these are great, but I don't own a plastic sausage extruder. Well, did you know that PCBWay, the sponsor of this video, can not only fabricate and assemble printed circuit boards, but they also offer CNC machining, injection molding, and also 3D printing. They offer 3D printing not only in tasty plastics and resin, but they also offer actual metal 3D printing for all you iron deficient bros out there. I've been using them quite a bit lately, and the print quality is always better than what I can achieve at home. And if you use my very lickable link down below, you'll save five US dollar dues off your first order. Now onto the rest of the video. If you were subscribed, you likely would have seen my previous video about repairing the Nintendo Switch. If you're repairing the Joy-Cons often, maybe consider using this repair platform. It's a sturdy print with dips to fit any Switch. I'm surprised you can't buy these on Amazon to be honest. Next up we have a print from the clown aficionado himself, Jeff Chen. I needed this very tool for an upcoming video. This is the Super Nintendo Super Duper Opener. It's used to divorce your parents and your Super Nintendo controllers of their plug socket housings. We all can't have 12 and a half fingers like Zuck. That's where I keep all my user data, specifically foot photography. So a tool like this makes souping up your Super Nintendo super duper easy. And lastly, we have the print that I thought was good. Then I tried it and it was not so good, but maybe it's good for you in a pinch. That is these plastic picks and pry tools. They maybe aren't very precise or strong, but if you have nothing else, you can't go wrong. Anyway, what should I print next? What functional things do you use when fixing stuff? Let me know in the comments. Leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, see ya.